Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have another featured seller for you, and this seller always has awesome stuff. I usually try to feature them once a month because they have awesome bolos. I mean, the bolos just keep coming in. Um, 33 of them this time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you wanna learn, this is a seller to learn from. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Check out my other bolo videos. If you're not in my Facebook group, I've got a link down below in the description. Check that out. Um, we're going to get started here. All right. The first one is this awesome bullet picture. And he picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for $50. And he took a best offer of $180 plus shipping. All right. I don't know what this is. Grill bait cleaning table rod holder mount yeah hmm i probably would not have uh looked twice at this uh he got this at the thrift store for ten dollars and he sold it for 60 plus shipping again something i probably would not have looked twice at this little um it's col cobalt blue glass cat candy dish and he picked this up at Salvation Army for $4 and took a best offer of 41 plus shipping. All right, so I have a video on this. He sent me a message. Oh, I mean, it's been a little while back now when I first started the channel and he's like, you gotta see this bandana. And he's like, check out what, these, what this is selling for. I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, we'll see. Anyway. So it's the elephant and it's the trunk down. So I'm going to show you a picture here and it's a fast color trunk down are the ones that apparently go for big money. You can see here, it's got like a little stain on it and it still has the little tag, but he sold this best offer for $125 and he still has one left and he got it at a yard sale and I think he maybe bundled it up with some other things, but he said he probably has 25 cents in it. Oh, I wanna find something for a quarter and sell it for 125, come on. Awesome, plus shipping. All right, so these are things that I normally just avoid because I don't like shipping stuff like this, but um, maybe I need to think about it. He got this, it's a little uh, Fisher Price ATV um, at the Goodwill for $5 and he sold it for 55 plus shipping. The next one here is this Briar Horse. Some of these go for huge money. It just depends. Um, he got this one at the Goodwill for 85 cents and he sold it for 40. So I would say that is really good margins. Um, my husband actually has some of these sitting in the garage, which we have not researched. Um, I don't know if they're newer or older or what, but we probably need to look at them. Even if they're like not super old. I mean, this one went for 40. All right, the next one is this Imperial Glass Candle Wick Clear Stem Iced Tea Glass set of 12. Again, I don't know about you, but I hate shipping glass. Um, $10 at a yard sale, sold it for 110. So I might consider selling glass if I can get it for 10 and sell it for 110 plus shipping. All right, the next one is this backpack. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Tula, T-H-U-L-E is the brand and it's written right on the back of the bag. Um, thrift store, $7, sold it for 55. All right, this uh, 7-Eleven dial tester indicator with attachments in case. You can see here, I don't know what this thing does. Um, thrift store, $4. Nine bids sold for 41 plus shipping. All right, Lisa Frank, and these are studio stickers, kaleidoscope, and they're all brand new. And I'm telling you guys, um, Oh, it looks like there's stamps also, but stickers and stamps, some of them bring really good money. I'm actually surprised this didn't go for more. Uh, he got this at the Goodwill. He paid 12 and he sold it for a best offer of 40 plus shipping. The next one are these um, polarized sunglasses. Costa, let's see, Del Mar. 
and I'm not, I, I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but it was something about a warranty claim when he broke a pair of his old pair and maybe they sent him these and he didn't want them. So he got, he had $12 in shipping. I think I understood that correctly, but they sold for 120. Okay, an Orvis double fly rod carrier and holder. And he got this at a thrift store for $4 and took a best offer of 55. All right, techniques, it's an AMFO stereo, AMFM, sorry, stereo receiver. He got this free at a yard sale because the lady or man, I guess, didn't know if it worked. So they just gave it to him and he sold it for $45. So free, zero dollars. All right, this Lennox porcelain Christmas train. Pick this up, $10 at a thrift store, took a best offer of 50 plus shipping. All right, this Delta model scroll saw. Again, I would have no idea that something, I, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't have a clue. So this is more of like a men's bolo. I shouldn't say that, women can sell tools too, but let's see. $15 at a yard so sale, took a best offer of 80, and it's a little heavier, so shipping was a bit high. So he sold it for 80. Very cool. Again, another one of these. Um, it's a play school tyke bike for a toddler, like a little scooter type thing. And he got this at the Goodwill for five bucks, and he sold it for 50 with um, buyer paid shipping. All right, I love this little teacup. It's got like little feet on the bottom. It's so cute. Uh, he got this at he didn't. Oh, I didn't put where he got it. Sorry, but he bought seven of them for seven dollars, and he sold them all. And he sold them all, I think, for around the same price. So thirty-two dollars. Here's the writing on the bottom if you guys want to see that. Pretty cool. I love it. Okay, so this is an electric scooter removable seat, and he got this at an auction for $25. He took a best offer of $70, and he still has the scooter, which he thinks he can sell locally. All right, the next one is these vintage cast iron candle stand with sign holder hand forged pair. So here's what we're looking at. And he got these at the thrift store for $5 and took a best offer of 50 plus shipping. Okay, so this one I kind of love. This is definitely one that I am going to be on the lookout for. Um, they're copper cookie cutters. And he said he sells a lot of these and they always sell well. I'm gonna zoom in here on the little uh, logo, I guess you could call it. But he picked this up at a thrift store for $2 and he took a best offer of $32 for one pumpkin cookie cutter. $32, guys, plus shipping. So pretty cool. All right, so this is a throw or a blanket and it's Native American uh, beater lock. I probably totally messed that up, but it's B-I-E-D-E-R-L-A-C-K. That's the brand. And he got this for $4 at the Salvation Army, sold it for $65 plus shipping. All right, this is an Epson portable and image scanner. $5 at the thrift store, sold it for $50. This is a back belt, like a brace for your Miami lumbar. Um, yeah. So he got this at the Goodwill for six bucks and he sold it for 60 with free shipping. All right, I saw this one and I had to include it because I have one of these, I have it from when I was a kid and I'm not selling it. For some reason, I'm kind of attached to it. I think it's the same brand. I mean, it sure looks the same, but mine has like a little outfit on it that's all stretched out from us playing with it, but like the elastics, you know, broken. Um, but he got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it for 30. And I have not released it yet, but I just did a video on plush stuffed animal type things that sell 
really good that are bolos. So be watching for that video. It is good. You are going to be amazed. I walk past plush, but I'm going to be considering stopping and looking at the plush. Okay. The next one is this willow tree father and son. Um, he got a bunch of these for $4 each. It was like a liquidation sale and he sold this for 65 and plus shipping. All right, the next one here is this Nat Nast. It's a hot rod. Um, I think it's like a polo shirt. Looks like it's new with tags. Oh no, it's a button front. I'm sorry, it's a button front. Like kind of like a casual dressy type shirt, but it's got um, the hot rod on the back. This came from a thrift store for $4 and he sold it for $52.50 plus shipping. All right, this little Lego digital Lego block camera camera. And he got this at the Goodwill for $4 and sold it for $35. Best offer plus shipping. Okay, so this is a paperweight and it's like a fire extinguisher advertising type deal. I'm gonna zoom in here for you. But he sold it. Um, it was a consign consignment piece, and the person that gave it to him got it at a yard sale for a dollar. Um, he said he's guilty of not doing enough research on this because some of them go for $80 or more. And I mean, he sold it for 65, so he still did awesome. Um, 65 plus shipping, but some of them go for more. So if you see one of these items, definitely, uh, search comps on it, but here's the little thing on the bottom. All right. The next one we have is this sleep aid device. And I'm not sure how it works, but it's Dowdo, I think it's D O D O W. And he got a Salvation Army for $2 and he sold it for $52 plus shipping. The next one is these vintage Christmas lighted bells. Um, they're musical, it's a three bell cluster. He got this at the Goodwill for $4 and sold it for $60 plus shipping. All right, I think it's Spod. Spode, Spod, I don't know, England, and it's a teapot. And he's got about $7 in this, got it at a thrift store, and he sold it for 60 plus shipping. All right, this one is my favorite. I remember the day he sent me a message. He's like, you're never gonna believe what I got. And he put it up on um, eBay and he got like a bunch of offers and he's like, I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to research it a little better. So he removed the listing and then relisted it higher because he called around, talked to some other people, did a little more research and found out that it was very rare. So um, they're the Beatles 910 magazine book collection, all signed limited, limited edition. So super cool. Um, he ended up selling it for $450 and wait for it. He got it at the Salvation Army for drum roll, $9. Yep, $9 turned $9 into $450. I'm telling you, this seller like hits it big all the time. Um, and I would have more big ones, but I've already featured him like two or three times because I love his store. So a lot of his um, bigger, uh, higher solds, I've already featured them. So I'm doing things that I haven't featured. So anyway, go into my featured seller videos and check them out because you will be amazed what people of my Facebook group are selling and for the kind of money they're getting and what they're paying for it. It's just awesome. Major, major motivation. Um, all right, we got one more here. And this is a Iron Horse um, biker t-shirt. And he got this at the Salvation Army for $1.50 and sold it for $65. All right, so now I'm gonna take you into his store. And I'm gonna go to highest first. And one item that, actually there's two items that he recently just told me about. One is this St. Bernard doorstop. And I guess these are like super, Hard to come by, but how cool is that? I love it. It's so cute, but it's a doorstop, guys. And he 
is accepting offers. So if anyone's interested, I'll post a link to his store down below. And the other thing he has is this, uh, I don't know what this is, but he sent me this. He's like, check out what I got today. And I'm like, what is that going to sell for? And he's got it listed at $1,100. So I look forward to adding this to a Bolo video when it sells. I don't know what it is though. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of scroll through some of his, uh, what is this? Black leather urban cowboy jacket. But it's not, oh, it is black. It looks silver. Doesn't it look silver? Oh, I see now that it's black, but it looks silver, probably from the flash. That's crazy. Anyway, um, I'm going to kind of scroll through here. We got some old vintage snapbacks. Definitely, definitely a cool store. Um, go in and check it out. And if you want to see his other solds, you can go over and click solds and that'll take you into his solds. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that. I do have a playlist, which um, it says featured eBay sellers. And um, if you click on that, it'll just play all of my featured sellers from my Facebook group. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and check out my other videos. Thumbs up.